an arrest in a different case helped solve the mystery of what happened to Danielle Stislicki. Tonight, a person of interest in her disappearance accused of another crime. The man has been under suspicion for months. Now we're finding out he's under arrest for an attempted rape. The seven investigators all over new developments on this one, starting with Jonathan Carlson with what could be a major turning point in this investigation. Jonathan? Sure is. Yeah, we broke the news this afternoon. And I broke the news of the arrest of Danielle Stislicki's father earlier today. He had not yet heard from police, but was waiting by the phone for updates. The family has been waiting patiently for answers. Could they now get some? Nearly a year ago, a 28-year-old jogger grabbed around the neck, punched, and dragged towards what the attacker implied would be a sexual assault. It was September 4th on Edward Hines Drive. Months would go by, police without a suspect. Meanwhile, a man was being eyed in another case, a security guard from Berkeley who worked with a 28-year-old Farmington Hills woman who had gone missing. He was named a person of interest in her disappearance. That man would soon fall on the radar of Livonia police. Their investigation led to enough evidence that this past Thursday, a request for a warrant for his arrest was made. Sources tell the seven investigators there are no obvious connections between the cases, except for the man at the center of them. But he's soon to be charged with kidnapping and criminal sexual conduct, surely moving him up the list of possible suspects in the case of Danielle Stislicki. In fact, he's the only person of interest Farmington Hills police have identified and whose home they've searched this past winter, seizing evidence from inside. And we aren't naming the man arrested as he hasn't yet been charged. I spoke with his attorney tonight who professed his innocence but declined to comment further. Also, moments ago, I spoke by phone with the man's sister-in-law. I'm surprised to hear he's connected with something else because it was a surprise to hear that he would have been involved in uh, Danielle's case. Um, the only reason I believe that is because I heard it from the police. And sources tell me a lot of police work was going on behind the scenes today on both cases, both police departments not commenting until tomorrow, guys. Big All right, case. Jonathan, yeah, it is a huge case, and this break is big news. Thank you so much. Now let's turn to seven investigators, Simon Shaquette. And he spoke to Danielle's parents tonight and joins us live from Livonia as they wait for answers. Simon? Glenda, Steve and I spoke face to face with them tonight and we asked them about the arrest that they heard about here at the Livonia Police Department. They say, although it is a separate case, they want to learn more just like the rest of us. The disappearance of Danielle Stizlicki remains a mystery Farmington Hills police are yet to solve. Recently, her parents telling Action News about their own struggle during an event to raise awareness. It's rough. Um, you have your good days and your bad. Um, but it's talked about a lot. We're creating awareness beyond Danielle for other missing people. When sources confirmed a person of interest in Danielle's vanishing was arrested in connection with a separate assault and attempted kidnapping in Livonia, Danielle's father told us off camera he wanted to know more. And he and his family want to be sure that other cases get this same level of attention. Starts with asking questions and then we start to get our answers and, and from there build not just for Danielle but for other missing people because it's a big problem. You have to force yourself into some functionality um, and there's been many, many different supports from different areas. Now Danielle's father told me tonight at their home that he plans to attend tomorrow's arraignment in a Livonia courtroom. Of course, we'll be covering that extensively. Also, we reached out to Farmington Hills Police to try to get a comment from them about all of this, but so far, they are not saying anything publicly. Live in Livonia, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Back to you. All right, Simon, thank you for the live update. Stay with 7 Action News on air on our app and WXYZ.com. We'll have continuing coverage. We will bring you any new developments the instant we learn them.